What's up everyone? This is me, Sean, and welcome back to Mantis Mad World. Now, this video is probably going to be a little bit quick because I don't have much time to do this. So, let's go ahead and let's see what I have on the agenda for today. So, today, whoops. Uh, alright, this is today. Sweet. Today, I'm going to be starting Tinker's Construct now. If you don't know what Tinker's Construct is, it's basically this really, really awesome mod that you can basically customize all sorts of different tools and weapons in, and they add in more weapons and more tools. It's just very customizable, and it's really, really fun and awesome just to play around with. So, I'm going to be doing that first, and then later I'm going to be making a bunch of storage out of drawers so that is what's going to happen today so yeah basically how you start off in tinker's construct is you make a bunch of seared bricks let me go ahead and let me look that up real quick seared bricks oh, no not bricked bricks all right so you get a bunch of these seared bricks and the way you make them is you get this grout stuff and it says i am grout that's amazing and you just smelt them into seared bricks so, the way you get grout is you basically make it with sand, gravel, and clay. So, yeah. I went off camera and I gathered a bunch of clay, sand, and gravel. Now, this should make two stacks of grout. So, let's go ahead and let's make that. Boom! Oh, wait, no. Alright, boom. Achievement get. Make tons of grout. Alright? Now, the second thing I must do is I must smelt these. This is going to be very riveting footage, so... I'm gonna fast forward through the riveting footage. Doopa 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 doo doopa doo. Actually, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to clear a spot for the Tinker's Construct stuff because it's going to take a lot of space. Now, basically what you do with these seared bricks is one, you make the blocks seared bricks, and two, you also make all these nice little um, accessories or accessories, however you say it, that goes with the giant smelter that you have to build so it's a little bit easier to explain when i'm you know building it but i'm going to attempt to explain it right now basically you can make a five by no it's not a five by five is it i think it's a five by five of seared brick blocks three days later and it's hard to explain until you do it you know you know just some things are impossible to explain so basically i need to make a smeltery a five by five smeltery with walls and stuff, so I have to have a lot of space for that. So I'm just going to get a lot of space. Kablam! Okay, so how big is this space, though? Alright, we got... Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, by... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it would be like this area, and it would... Wait. And schloop! Okay, so... I think for now, this space over here will do. I'm just going to go over here and see the progress. So I have 18 seared bricks in there and 18 in there. Only 36 seared bricks. Oh boy, this is going to be long. <laughs> oh no, I don't have much time to do this. So yeah, let's see real quick. So let's make a bunch of that with that. I can only make nine blocks with this much seared bricks oh my gosh i can't i can't take it i can't take it ah i can't take it oh it's too expensive too rich for my blood too rich for my blood i need to make an electric furnace that's what i must do there we go and then i can hook it up to this basic energy cube or something i don't know i'll stick it here i guess because reasons so i can go ahead and just put a couple things in here oh Oh, that's going to be very nice. Okay, let's just take you guys out for now. Boop, and boop, and boop. Alright, so we have, what, 51 grout that I need to spelt? That I need to spelt? That I need to smelt. How fast is this going to be? Oh, it's going! Alright, it's definitely going faster this time. Alright, that is so much better. Okay. Sweet, let's also place a torch back down. Okay, I'm so glad I made that. Oh, you are wonderful, sweet, sweet electric furnace. Okay. And these guys are going to keep going. All right. Now let's go ahead and let's make some more bricks. Boom. Only 26? Dang. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's start to make this sort of uh, thing that I need to make. So I think it's 5x5, five five, right? No, it's 3x3, three three, not 5x5. Five five. I'm an idiot. Okay. It's 3x3. Three three. So you go 1, 2, 3. All right. Just place them in here. All right. 
So that's the base, and you can make some walls. I'm just going to make the back wall solid uh, seared brick, and I'm going to make the first level on the sides seared brick. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to then add in some controllers and stuff. So let's look up a controller or a smeltery controller. Smeltery. So for a smeltery controller, uh, that's a drain. I'm going to need that as well. All right, so we need a smeltery controller, which is just some seared bricks in a furnace-like fashion. And then we're going to need some seared tank. And that's basically glass with some seared bricks around it. And then we're going to need a drain, which is just some more seared bricks. All right. Sweet. So let's just grab some of these guys. Boom, 38. That's very nice. So then let's make a smeltery controller. I'm sorry if my uh, frame rate keeps dropping every time I go into the menus. I do not know why that's happening, but it is happening. And I can't really help it. All right, smeltery drain. I think I have to place like this way, right? No. No, no, you don't place it that way. Okay, you have to place it the other way. And boom, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for the frame rates. What is going on with my frames today? What else do I need? I need a faucet. I need one of these tanks, which would take a piece of glass. Do I have any sand or glass anywhere? Uh, apparently I do not. Boom, and now we have a seared tank. And I can place that down, and now the trifecta is complete. And I can go ahead and place these blocks down. Two, three. One, two. Th Alright. I need more. I need how many more? Two, three, four. Two, three, four. I'm gonna have to go get more seared brick, guys. Oh, man. Okay. And that should be... The smeltery, there we go. Now that we have the smeltery uh, basic, oh, okay. <laughs> I just fell down there. Now that we have the basic smeltery built, basically I need to go down and I need to get a bunch of lava. So, in order to get a bunch of lava, I need to make a couple buckets. So let's make a couple buckets. Two, three, one, two, three. And that should be good. Three bucketfuls of lava should be just fine. And there we go. Now let's go down to the depths of the earth and then grab us some lava, because lava is exactly what I need to power that. Oh! Oh, I forgot about that drop. That's not good. This is taking a really long time. I need flight. <laughs> that's what I need. I need flight and the Tinker's Construct tools, because that's going to make my life so much easier. Especially when you can add auto repairing to the tools. That is going to be huge. It's going to be huge. Now that we're back, we're going to place some lava in there. And this should be plenty of lava fuel for the smeltery. Okay, it looks like it takes four buckets to fill it up completely. But I'm just going to leave it like that for now. So now that we have fuel and we have a place to, you know, smelterize all the good stuff. I need to make... The 50 other accessories that go with it before you can actually start. So, it's time to make pretty much just the worst things, including this casting table, which I'm going to need more seer bricks for. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go off camera real quick, and I am going to just finish the smeltery off. So, I will be back in a few minutes. Hold on. All right, guys. Well, I have finished everything I need for the smeltery. I have the casting table. I have the casting basin, and I have some uh, fuel in there. I don't know if I showed that on camera or not. I also have all of these different stands. I have the part builder. I have, well, the crafting station over here. I have a tool forge, a stencil table. I guess I already showed you the pattern chest and that. So, what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to show you basically how the mod works. So, let's go ahead and let's get started with that. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a blank pattern or stencil or whatever you want to call it. You're going to go over to the stencil table and you're going to just, you know, stick it in there. And depending on what you want to make, you're going to, you know, click one of these. So let's say I wanted to get a arrowhead to start making arrows with, okay? You're going to click that. And you can basically pull out the arrowhead pattern. And boom, you would have it. You'd have the pattern. 
So then after that, I'm going to just stick the arrowhead pattern in here for right now. Um, what you would do after that is you would go to the part builder, you would stick whatever pattern in there, and you can only make certain materials or stuff in the part builder. So, you know, you could stick like stone or wood or even obsidian in this. As long as it's not metal, you can use it in the part builder. But for metal, you're going to have to use the actual smeltery. So I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So, yeah, this is basically what you would do to get uh, some parts, I guess. So you just put it right there and you put the cobblestone in the part builder as well. And you get a stone binding. And then you do the same thing for the tool rod, which you can, you know, just stick that in there. And you would get, again, a, to a stone tool rod. And then the same thing with the pickaxe head, and you would get a stone pickaxe head like, wait, like so. Okay, and then after you have all your parts, you would go over to the tool forge, find the weapon or tool you want to make, and click it, and then just assemble it right here. So I put the, uh, the stone pickaxe head, the stone pickaxe binding, and the stone pickaxe uh, tool rod, and then you get a Tinker's Construct stone pickaxe. So you might notice that I've already crafted it an obsidian pickaxe and yeah that you would be correct I did craft an obsidian pickaxe and yeah I just I decided that I needed something better than my diamond pickaxe and something a little bit more I guess reliable than my diamond pickaxe so I went ahead and made an obsidian pickaxe plus what you can do with this obsidian pickaxe is you can mine certain, like, amazing ores in the nether. So, if I were to go into the nether, I could mine all the Tinker's Construct uh, ores and stuff in there and get the best, uh, I guess, material to make the weapons. So, or not the weapons, but the tools and stuff, you know what I mean. Okay, I also said I was going to show you guys how to make stuff out of metal. So... If you wanted to make stuff out of metal, you cannot make it in the part builder. Like I said before, you're going to have to make either a stone or wood version of the, the tool part, alright? So you're going to put a stencil in there, make the tool, or the tool rod, or the stone whatever, whatever you want to make. And then you're going to stick the stone version of whatever you want to make into the casting table. You're going to go into the smeltery, and you're going to smelt some gold, okay? Then... What you're going to do is you're going to click it, make it go to the bottom, and then just right-click the faucet. And what that's going to do is it's going to fill the casting basin up with, uh, I guess, gold. And it's going to make a cast. So now I have a stone tool rod cast. So now I can stick the cast in there. And then I can click, well, I can just click iron. And then I can make an iron tool rod. And that is how you make stuff out of metal in this. So, yeah, I'm not going to use the iron tool rod. I'm going to stick it back in there for now. But, yeah, that's the basics of how the mod really works. So, what I'm going to do for the rest of this video is I'm going to go into the nether. And I'm going to mine some important ores. And that is lag. Why is there lag? I do not understand lag. I'm going to mine some important ores. So that I can make some really, really, really good Tinker's Construct tools and weapons to use in upcoming videos. So, yeah, first of all, here's some Ardite right here. And this is the Cobalt level. So if I were to get the Diamond Pickaxe, I could not mine it because the Diamond Pickaxe is at Obsidian level and not Cobalt. That is the reason why I also made the Pickaxe out of Obsidian. That gas scared the living out of me. So yeah, that's why I made the pickaxe out of obsidian. I made it out of obsidian because you can mine cobalt level stuff with the obsidian tools. No, you suck! Get away! I hate you! So this is what cobalt looks like. And bam. So, I was talking about the best ore, or I guess the best material in the game. Now, that's called man yelling, and you get man yeah, uh, Sorry. And you get Maniellen when you combine Cobalt and Ardite in a smeltery. So that is why I need a ton of both. So that looks like Lapis. There's a lot of diamonds. There's some emeralds on the ceiling too. I might need that. I'm going to keep looking for a couple more minutes here. 
And then I'm going to go back up to the surface and end the episode. There. So you know what? I'm going to pause it. I'm going to just run around this place a little bit and try to find me some cobalt and ardite. And I will be back with you guys when I am back on the surface. Hold on. All right, guys. Well, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to show you my haul and I'm going to end the episode here. So let's go ahead and let's see how much I got. So I ended up getting 20 emeralds, 21 diamonds and seven of each cobalt and ardite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick both of those in there and it's going to make hopefully seven ingots of maniellen or maybe more, I don't know. But for now guys, that's gonna be it for this video. In the next video, I will have some new and hopefully some really, really good tools, maybe some weapons, I'm not too sure, but yeah, I will go ahead and I'll show you guys that in the next video. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the next one.